think, Will? This is incredible. I didn't know anything like this could <laughs> exist. This is magical. And it exists in Georgetown, Kentucky. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of What to Do! do! Today, we are going to a milkshake shop that's going to blow your mind with their awesome milkshakes. They're not like your normal milkshake. They are creative and amazing and literally over the top. All right, let's go check it out. <gasps> Woohoo! FYI, we liked this place so much that we went there twice. The first time, we got the birthday unicorn, and the second time, we got cookies and cream. And we're going to show you what that looks like here in a second. But really quick, we would love to remind you to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, if you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs> Look how cool this thing is. It's bigger than my face. It's amazing. Look, this is my favorite candy. Yeah, I know. When I saw that, I was like, that's a good <laughs> We also got the privilege of interviewing the owner of the bakery, Tia, and asking her some questions about the origins of the bakery, and she is just lovely. Also, something you should know about Tia is that she's so personal. She really values her customers, so go check out our bakery. Look, we have a friend named Lincoln. He's said he's I love Lincoln! <laughs> he told us to let, ask you if you... He's like, I go there every week and I always get the death by chocolate. Yes, <laughs> always. What made you decide on the name Sweet Matriarch? So, I'm a southern girl and I've baked cakes with my granny, my great grandma, everybody, and um, matriarchs, like, they kind of ruled the roost in my family my whole life. So, I thought I'd name it after them, and since it was a bakery, they came with the So, it's Sweet Matriarch. Aww. And I super cheap here. <laughs> Nothing artificial that comes out of this bakery. We make it. It's you know straight up old school. You know, there's no shortenings, there's no oils, none of that stuff. Wow. Even in the shop, it's nice. uh, even like our pie crust. We make our caramels. We make the chocolate drizzles. We make our own marshmallows. If you, if it comes wow. out of here and if it's a dessert, it is made 100% out of. Wow. So I think that's a typical soda. Yeah, that typical soda, like loaded up with butter and sugar and make it all better. <laughs> Cool. Well, we love it so much. We came here twice. Yeah. We loved it both times. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. Here are just a few sweets that we saw other people order while we were in line. We talked to a group of people in line who traveled all the way from Louisville just to try this bakery out. Due to the pandemic, the inside of the bakery is shut down. But just down the street, we discovered a water treatment plant that was turned into a park, oddly enough and it is so cute and unique. And we're gonna show you that park and its history. I think you'd be able to find a good parking spot at the park, but we had a little bit of trouble, but nevertheless, we're here. So yeah, we're gonna just check it out and eat our unicorn, baby, and um, enjoy our date. Let's go sit on the steps. The log cabin you see in this park was built in 1874. Apparently, Royal Spring Park is said to be the birthplace of bourbon whiskey, where Elijah Craig distilled his first batch in 1789. The spring here was a main source of water for the earliest settlers in Georgetown. Still today, it's a water source for 13,000 folks. <laughs> it looks like you're carrying a baby that you're trying to entertain. <laughs> wasn't coming out of there. Look at that. Look at the engineering, the structural integrity. Engineering right there. Apparently unicorns have three spines. What do you think of it, Will? Oh my goodness. It was very good. Extremely very sweet. Very sweet. You need a friend yes. to eat it. Yes. And we still couldn't finish it. 
between the two of us. Yeah. Because it was like a giant cupcake and a lot of whipped cream and candy and a milkshake. Oh, yeah. So much sugar. But it was so good. It was really good. And really I fun. I enjoyed just looking at it. Yeah, just it. seeing it was super cool. Not good for your heart. I mean, good for your it's soul. good for your soul. It's not good for your heart, but it's definitely good for your soul. My soul feels uplifted. There today. we go. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly and I had to stop at the store and we're thinking we might need to cover this up the milkshake up because we don't want anyone to break our windows to in, get in and get it hello my loyal viewers I just want to let you know they change up the menu pretty frequently so they're always shaking it up milkshaking it up also they sell a whole lot more than just milkshakes so go check them out you won't regret it